What is up you guys? Good morning. Feeling good? It's going to be a good day. Welcome to Cappuccino Garage and um, right now I'm off to work. Thanks to my wife for helping me out. Um, I was able to order the front apron for the bug. So that's going to be fixed in this video. Point. This started. thing is so nice. Pointcu.com. On Point Community Credit Union. Freaking advertisements. All right, so I'm at work. We'll get off and get back with you guys later. The front apron is this one. I was gonna fix it, cut these out, and then put new sheet metal on there, but I'm just gonna do it all new. And that's gonna be later in this video. So I did this convertible top. Not the whole thing, uh, I took it off uh, just to re replace the rear plastic window. Basically redoing it, so it was pretty pretty easy. I'm going to have to do a Honda S2K convertible toss, so stay tuned and i um, going to show you guys some of that video. All right, guys. It's the day, and I'm gonna work on the front apron. Let's get started and start moving cars so I can put it inside. I don't want to work outside; it's too cold. I was supposed to get footage of me putting the bug inside. I did not get it. I don't know what happened, but the bug is inside. <laughs> so this is the front apron I ordered. Um, the only difference on this one is uh, uh, it doesn't have this hole for the hood latch. Actually, right-handed vehicles have the hood release on this side. Um, mine's on the left side. So I'm a left-hand driver. So first thing I'm going to do is start removing all the stuff in here. And then uh, remove the, the fenders. Start cutting these, uh, these bumper bumper mounts off. I'm going to cut these off um, and start going from there. This is literally loose right here. It doesn't even, I don't even think it's even welded. So um, hopefully it's easy for me to take it off and make the process a lot faster. So yeah, let's get to it. This is also day one of the VW Road to Track Shark meet. It's going to be in Boise, Garden City. I want to have it fully painted and I'm not sure if I'm going to have it uh, fully restored inside upholstery and everything wise. But I really want the outside to look good. I want the, the car to be lowered. I want the literally everything looking good and straight outside and have the, the turbo exhaust and everything ready for, for the drag strips and everything I want to do. Um, the car is really clean inside. It's kind of, I mean, not really, really clean, but it's the cleanest it's ever been. Here, I'm going to get a flashlight so I can show you guys everything. That's inside where the wheel well is. That's one of the parts that I'm going to replace. Also on this side. Alright guys, so I already took most of the fenders off. I left I left them semi put on because I want once I put the other apron on I can uh, guide myself and align it right. I went around and marked up all the all the dents all all around the car so I can get everything fixed up and strained out. By the way, a huge shout out to my wife. She got me this camera bag for Valentine's Day. This little camera holder, whatever it is, I don't know what to call it, but um, I put my camera in there, it slides in and out. Has the zipper, zip it up, it closes. Some good room just to use it for vlogging and stuff like that so I'm pretty happy with it 
Hope you guys are enjoying the road to Shark Fest Project VW Beetle. Uh, Got my helper here. Got one side of the apron removed. Just these little tacks, and I mean everything was already bad. It's it's not that hard. It's All right, guys. So I got both sides of the the welds off. Now I just gotta release the the hood release. Take that off, and then I believe there's more tack welds on bottom. I need to remove, and then. From there, I'm going to weld the other piece and then start fixing all the other sides, but for now, I'm just going to focus on finishing this part, this front apron. My little helper, Matei. Say hey. Just say hey to the camera. Say hey. <laughs> Chulos. I love it when he helps me. Alright, we're back. What I'm going to do is uh, jack up the bug so that I can... Uh, remove the welds on the bottom and then do the rest so I'm going a different route and I'm gonna cut it off There we go. After a while, the apron is finally off. Right here, hopefully you guys can see. Um, I have to figure out this part because it sh should be a little bit this way. I know for sure. You can see that it's pushed back. I'm going to have to reinforce it. Bring it back this way. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is going around, um, trying to straighten up as much as I can all these pieces. Um, I'm going to weld most of this up, that way I can put the front apron on. And once I have the front apron, I'm going to go around cutting everything out because that now I'm going to know that all this is aligned right and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Um, that's, that's my method of how um, I want to do it. Um, I could be wrong. I'm learning, and I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do everything as I can as as right as possible. So let's get back to it. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys notice. Grinded this down, strained it up as much as I could. Now I'm gonna weld right here, and um, as, as I can go from there and start putting the front apron on. Let's get welding. Alright guys, so got the front apron on, took me two tries, I'm learning, I'm loving it, looks good, lines up with the ape, the, the hood, the trunk, um, look at that, all I did was tack weld it, didn't weld the whole thing yet, but for right now that's how it's going to be, and I'm going to put the car back down, take it out. Anyways, that's it for now, and thanks for watching this video, and hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Plus, don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more content on this Volkswagen Beetle Turboed. Peace.